G'day everyone, welcome to this week's Ask APT. This week we're talking a really simple task which is measuring pressure in a hydraulic system. So I've got a very basic system set up here where we've got a supply and I've got one, two, three check valves which are just a resistance in the line at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the difference in each part of the circuit and why it's important to pay attention to it when we're measuring pressure. I've got three gauges in my circuit as well. So the three gauges that I've got here, I've got on the inside here, I've got an a, a analog gauge, I've got another one here which is connected by a hose back to this point here, and a digital gauge which will turn on now, and that's just connected directly on there. If I start the pump up, Everything gets a whole heap noisier. But we can see the pressure in our circuit. So at the moment I've got oil coming through here through the flow control valve, through my first check valve or resistance, my second check valve and my third. And so this is what we consider as a series circuit and this is how we, we measure the pressure in that series circuit. Now I've deliberately set it up with three different gauges so that we can see the differences. So this gauge here, my digital gauge is reading 3.9 bar, maybe four bar, and the hose here travels all the way back to tank through the filter. So the only pressure we're measuring at this point here is the resistance here in this check valve and any resistance in my return line. Now as I come along, and I come back to the next gauge in the circuit, we can see that it's reading approximately 10 bar. Now that 10 bar is the combination or the addition of this check valve and the four bar. So this check valve must be approximately six bar. Four there, now that four bar is just the end of the circuit. So we've got 60 here. And as I come along to my high pressure gauge, We've got approximately 15 bar, but the problem is, is that we can't accurately read it on here. And that's a really important point about the scale of our gauges. So it'd be 15 bar here, which means that we've got five bar in this check valve, this one and this one. So we've got 15 bar all up or approximate, maybe around four, six, and maybe four again. So a series circuit, we're measuring the addition of the pressure and it's really important that we use the correct gauge for the job. So a 10,000 PSI gauge to read 10 bar really isn't appropriate. And it's also really, really important that we make sure that we, we are measuring the right scale. So we can see on this one that we've got 10 bar or we've got 150 PSI. So this is a dual gauge, dual range gauge. With our digital gauges, they're fantastic. They work really, really well, give us a really accurate reading. It's really important that we don't get too tied up on the points. So the difference between five bar and four bar in most circuits, most hydraulic circuits, really isn't that big a deal. So it's important that we don't get too tied up on getting it exactly right when we're using a digital gauge just because we've got the resolution to be able to do it properly. So there's this week's Ask APT. We talked about a series circuit where each of the resistances add up. Now these might be hoses, the end one might be a load, um, it might be a valve bank, but they all add up in a circuit. And when we measure back at the pump, it's going to measure quite differently to if we measure at the actual load itself and maybe some point in between. Really important that we understand what we're trying to measure in our circuit and that we put our gauge into the right spot. The other thing that we looked at was the scale on the gauges and making sure that we're not using a 10,000 PSI gauge on a 10 bar system or on a 100 PSI system. 
and that with it, when we use a digital gauge, that we're not trying too hard to get exactly the right setting with our digital gauges. They are fantastic, they make life so much easier, but don't get caught up on looking at the exact number. A 0.1 of a bar is gonna make no difference, just like five bar on this gauge here, you're not gonna notice the difference. That's this week's Ask APT. I hope you got something out of it. If you've got something you'd like to know, shoot us a message, drop us a line or shoot us an email and we'll try and answer your questions over the coming weeks. Mm -hmm.